Do you know what it means to control what you can control and let go of the rest? We're going to talk about that on this episode of 5 Minutes with Dad. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Who's ready for an awesome episode of 5 Minutes with Dad? Nobody? Nobody's Me. ready? Oh, Angela. Wait, we gotta restart that. We gotta start. Okay, ready, ready? Who's, Who's ready? ready for an awesome hey. episode of 5 <laughs> Minutes with All right, with you Dad. take that over. What? What am I, a rotten egg? Just Angela's ready. Angela uh, is ready. Bad. Anyone else ready? Anyone else? Yeah. Pavlos is ready? Me. <laughs> Pavlos is and uh, me. me and me and me. Wait, hold on. No, mine is that other me. Okay, let's do. Here we go. Me. What am, I? what am I? A rotten egg? And then you can go like this. You can go like this. Hang on. What am I? A rotten egg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Angela and We're I have been record two short episodes. And by the way, it's so close to Christmas. That's right. We're recording it's this. Four more days. That's Not like I'm keeping track or anything. <laughs> This episode's going to drop tomorrow morning, which would be the 21st. And then we'll record another one that we're going to drop the week It was supposed after. to record today. Yeah, we're going to record today. We're going to record a couple I episodes mean, today. I mean, I meant it was supposed to drop. What? <laughs> so we're recording this on the, let's see. 20th, 20th. of December. So, <clears throat> 12th, 20th. 2020. 12, 2020. 12, 2020, 2020. Do you know what? Sorry, go ahead. Man. That's okay. <laughs> All right. We're so, going to go on to the... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we get... We got an important show today. Remember, we have to... We got to introduce. We're going to talk about controlling what you can control and let go of the rest. This is something that's hard even for parents to do. To take that mindset of controlling what you can control and letting go of the rest. But oh, first, we're going to go on to the. Who's ready for the resources of the week? The Go-way. resources of the week. And which? Who's ready for that? Me. Yeah. Me. Pablos is ready for that. Right? Pablo, me. me. Pa- <laughs> Pablos, is that, are you correct? Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. So, Ange, do you want to do. one that says. Um, always for Pavlos. Yeah, well, we can find some <laughs> clips from old shows. So, Ange, do you want to do the joke of the week one or the yeah. joke of the week two? Joke of the week one. Okay, go ahead. Ange hasn't read this one yet, so let's see how she does. What was more useful invention? What was a? What was a more useful invasion, invention yeah. that the fur? Than the first telephone. Yep. What was a more useful invention than the first telephone? I don't know. What was The second telephone. Oh, and. And. (laughs) (laughs) And that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Because if you only had one telephone. What's that? Hey, yo. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Now we're going on to the. Actually, we're not going on to it. We're staying here. Yeah, right, Pavlos? That's right. Yeah. Who's ready for the resource of the week? Okay. Oh, that Ange. was a surprise. <laughs> Ange, do you want to talk about the resource of the week? Yeah. Okay, go it's ahead. something I really want. I know it's really cool because my cousin had it and she really likes it. So it's called Elf on the Shelf Snow... Elf on the Shelf Secret Snow Prize. And you can go on to the... Yeah, if you go to 5 com slash globe, because it's kind of like a snow globe, globe, that'll send you through our affiliate link to head on over to Amazon and check it out. You can get one. It's kind of nice to have around after Christmas when the elves go back to the North Pole. You can get elf. You can get pet. What can you get? They got all sorts of different things. Let's see. Uh, you, you get a flurry of surprises. Which playful, merry mini figurine will grow out of Santa's magical Christmas so first, snow? It looks like you have to put water inside the snow globe. Yes. Step one, oh. you open it up. Step, Step two, two, pour hot to 
Oh. H2O, that's water. Yeah. <laughs> H2O, step three, wait 60 seconds. And then step four, take off the cap and you one. will see something surprise. Can I get a late Christmas present? <laughs> Maybe. Wait, Dad, yeah. I think I saw which ones you can get. Yes, you can get uh, Gracie Giggleston. You can get the dog. You wait, could... hold on. What? I think I have an idea. You can get Snorms, Crispy Nick. Crispus Nibblekins. You can get Abby the dog. I think I know why they called that one Snorms. Why? Because <laughs> there's this thing and someone named it Snorms instead of S'mores. Sto oh, or Storms. S'mores, lots of different things. Yes, so you get, you can get an Elf on the Shelf surprise in a globe, and it looks really, really, really cool. Yes, 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 yes. You can get Sam Cinnabar. You can get Barker. Lots of different prizes. One mini figure hiding in the snow. So head on over there. Grab it at 5minuteswithdad.com slash globe. And now it's time for the second Ooh, joke of the week. Recess of the <laughs> Joke of the week number two. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like the energy though. That was great enthusiasm, <laughs> Edge. Yes. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Woo. Woo. -woo. Oh, wow. You're excited. I'm excited to see you too. <laughs> Get it, Edge. Get it. Woo hoo. Woo hoo. Woo hoo. Woo hoo. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess Ange doesn't like that. Do you joke. like it, Pavos? Yeah. <laughs> do you, what do you want to eat right now? Eat chips. Eat. Oh, that one's eat chips. This one. This eat one's every one. snack. There we go. All right. So, <laughs> what? You yeah. really do? <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh well, I guess you're hungry. I guess you're hungry. Okay. So we are entering the. When this drops, we're entering the second to last week of 2020. So we're going to have yeah. this episode. Wait, right, Pavlos? Yeah. Then we're going to have one more episode. And then the next episode right. is going to be January 4th. Right, recorded, Pavlos? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's switch to the topic of the week because this is really something that has been a big part of 2020. Controlling what we can control. This is part of our mindset. And do you know what a mindset is? Mm, sort of. Sort of, yeah. Our mindset is the way we think about things or the way we look mm -hmm. at things. So if you wake up and you get out of bed and say, oh my goodness, I'm so tired, I'm so grumpy. Is that a, is that a positive mindset or a negative that's a, mindset? That's a grumpy mindset. Grumpy right, mindset. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But Wait. I'm going to ask Pavlos one more question. What? Pavlos, who's ready? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, wait, <laughs> well, Pavlos one, is ready to leave, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Pavlos is ready. Um, <laughs> he's so, ready to leave. Yeah, he's like, who's ready to go? Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh, I accident pressed the recorded bye. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. So yeah, I didn't mean to. So our mindset is what's going on in our heads, the way we look at things, the way we think about things. So if we wake up in the morning, we can have a positive mindset and say, you know what? Whatever happens today, I am so happy to be up and about and I got all sorts of gratitude and I can't wait because I got my mom here or, or I got my dad here or I got yeah. my sister or brother or whatever it is. I got school. Whatever it is we do, we look forward to it. Even Though some of the stuff isn't always fun, right? I have an idea. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Hold so on. can I do it one more time? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the mindsets that one of the ways of thinking about the world is when we let things that we can't control get us upset. And it's really, really natural to do. And it's really, really hard not to do it. But Angela. Let's say you wanted to go to the store, okay? Mm -hmm. And when it's time to go to the store, you find out the store is closed. What? No. <laughs> is that something you can control? Nope. Nope. So if you get all upset, Oops. if you get all upset and you... Let the fact that the store is closed ruin your whole day. Are you letting go of the things Amazon. you can't control? Yes, but if you wanted to buy that, you can check <laughs> on Amazon. No, but what if you wanted to go to gymnastics? 
to a gymnastics lesson. You find out the gym. I can go on to an online video on YouTube. And learn <laughs> gymnastics? Yeah. Yeah. So, and what <laughs> so you're I doing now. Control that. That's right. Exactly. And that's what you're doing. So, and you're two steps ahead of me. So let's back up a little bit. Okay. But let's back up a little bit. Let's finish this, this thought. Okay. Yeah. So if you let the fact that your gymnastics studio is closed, ruin your whole day, are you controlling what you're controlling and letting go of the things you can't control? No. No. (laughs) Yes. Um, So what do you think is one option to do when you say, oh my goodness, this is not working out how I wanted to, but it's out of my control. You let go of it, right, Ange? Mm -hmm. And what what can you control? You can control what you do next, right? You can control going onto YouTube and looking up a tutorial, how to do gymnastics. That's right. (laughs) So you found a way to turn something that's kind of crummy. And about the store... To something not so crummy. Dad, and about the store, let's say Target. Okay. I can just go onto their website. That's right. <laughs> and do you know when I was little? What? They didn't have websites. O-M-G. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what's funny? Um, when I was little, if you wanted to know what time a restaurant was open, you know what you'd have to do? No. You'd have to call a restaurant. Uh, you have to call their phone number. And what do you think if they're closed? They would, ha- they would have to have a message, a voicemail. <clears throat> Go ahead. But pick a, not really a store. Make up a store name. Okay. Happy McHappy Pants. It's a Happy Pants store. Happy McHappy Pants is not available right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Oh, wait, no. Restart. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Happy Miss Happy Pants is not available right now. Please leave a message after the tone. Beep. Hello. Happy McHappy Pants. I was hoping I could find out what time you open on Saturday. Are you even open on Saturday? I don't know. I hope someone will give me a call back. Press one to send. Press two to record. <laughs> press three to continue. Beep. Which one did I press? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Ange, they, that's what they would do. Sometimes they would have voice machines wait like that like a voicemail yeah and like, they would say hey this is happy big happy pants we're not open right now but our regular hours are monday through friday 9 a.m till 9 p.m saturdays from 9 a.m until 7 p.m and sundays from 12 till 6 we hope you stop by and get some happy pants for you and the whole family thank you for being happy in your happy pants beep <laughs> Please leave a message after the tone. Beep. <laughs> you think I'd make a good Happy McHappy Pants spokesperson? Mm. Yeah. All right. So. Can I do it again? Hey. Wow. Thank you for calling Happy McHappy Pants. We're sorry, but we're closed right now. Our normal hours are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m., Saturdays from 9 a.m. till 7 p.m., and Sundays from 12 p.m. till 6. We hope you have a happy time in your happy big happy pants, happy pants. Thank you for calling. We'll see you when you get here. Yay! All right, so and. Happy Big Happy Pants is not available right now. Please leave a message after the tone. Beep. So, Ange, I love the way you're thinking when you say, oh, this is not working out, but I couldn't control it. So instead of being all grumpy, you control what you can control, which is your response. So what's your response? You go to a website or you... Happy Big Happy Pants is not available right now. Please leave a message after the tone. Beep. (laughs) You like Happy Big Happy Pants, huh? (laughs) Um, so yeah, you control what you can control and you make a decision because sometimes crummy stuff happens. And especially this year when we, sometimes we had to stay in the house longer than we wanted to, we wanted to go to schools, school full time, but we, but our schools have been closed, um, except for some hybrid learning mm-hmm. and we had to do what we had to make the I best of it, idea. right? Go ahead, Ange. <clears throat> Thank you. Press one. Descent. Press two to re-record. Press three to delete. <laughs> delete and re-record. Press four to not to hang up. <laughs> All right, Beep. Ange. Beep. <laughs> All right, Ange. Right Please leave a message after the tone. Beep. 
<laughs> so, all right, Ange, that is oh, this. It, these crickets last a long time, huh? Um, okay, so. And that's really, really important. So that's just what I want. The one simple message I wanted to talk about as we head to the end of 2020 and go into 2021, that we're going to have every single day in good times and in challenging times, there are things that happen that we can control. And there are things that happen that we cannot control. We, when we can let go and pause for just one second, when something crummy happens and say, you know what, that's crummy. But it's not something I could have controlled or I can prevent. So what am I going to do next? I'm going to think of something different. In gymnastics, I'm going to go to YouTube and find a tutorial. Or if a store's closed, I'm going to look online or look for a different store. Or (laughs) or if I can't go somewhere, I'm going to look to have fun where I am. So I love that, Ange. All right, that's it for this show. Don't forget to pick up your secret snow globe at 5minuteswithdad.com slash globe. And... We'll see you on a... I hope everyone has a happy holiday. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pablos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com. Thank you for listening.